Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm up at Sussex Caravan and Motome Centre with Sarah and we've been asked to come and have a look at the new uh, coachman that they've got here. It's called a Laser 35th Emerald Edition. You don't want to know how many times I've had to try and say that and I've got it wrong every time. Anyway, it's, um, it's one of their uh, specs that they've had all specced up and um, I must say, this coachman, um, just looking round here now, is absolutely beautiful. Um, I've not got a price for you at the moment. It is brand new. It's not, they've not got a price to list it at the moment, but they reckon it's going to be about mid £45,000, maybe a bit less, maybe a bit more. Just don't know yet. But like I say, they've asked me to come and have a look at it and tell me what I think and also what Sarah thinks. So let both me and Sarah show you around this beautiful coachman. Okay, Sarah's out on the phone at the moment, so you'll have to forgive me. I'll have to I'm going to do this on my own at the moment until she comes back. Anyway, this um, coachman, um, Emerald Edition, uh, 35th uh, Emerald Edition, is absolutely beautiful. I mean, the colour scheme uh, really is beautiful. Um, it's um, emerald green or green uh, with uh, cream colours. Uh, it is an eight foot wide caravan. I, I will put all the statistics <laughs> in the um, in the picture now, uh, so you can see that. Um, I haven't actually got them to hand. Um, basically, there isn't really any at the moment because this caravan is so brand new. Um, but anyway, I will give you them uh, in a picture um, in this actual video. So anyway, as you can see, this um, this fabric they've used um, on the top here is really really nice. Um, it's lovely and soft to the touch. This is a bit coarser, this part here. I don't really like the fact that they've uh, put the buttons in here. I'd much rather they had uh, done away with that. But, um, you know, like I say, this has been actually specced up by Sussex Caravan and Motome Centre. And it is absolutely lovely. Um, you've got that lovely panoramic uh, window in the top, um, which is, you know, phenomenal. Like I say, being eight foot wide as well, it really is lovely. So you've got plenty of cupboard space. And it, most of it, as far as I can make out, is all soft clothes. Nice little accents on there. And uh, loads of storage. You've got a lovely microwave that's incorporated into the... Uh, into the caravan as well and you've actually these uh, extractor hoods beautiful working around to the kitchen area sorry you have to excuse all my stuff up here um but working around to the kitchen area you've got a lovely l-shaped work surface which is really lovely and i would imagine plenty of cupboard space you've got a big pull out drawer which is absolutely fantastic. The amount of drawers you've got here, and I love these catches. Really, really nice. Very, very deep uh, bottom cupboard there. These ones are pretty much, um, you know, normal size. And one of the things on this coachman, which I absolutely love in the kitchen, is the fact that this looks like just an ordinary uh, bent over uh, tap for the sink, which is underneath this beautiful work surface. Um, this actually bends, so you can bend it in any position you like. Um, you know, I don't know how practical that is because I don't think I'd want a face full of water, but uh, it is nice anyway. It uh, really is beautiful. Um, take off that top, take off the top, and you've got a lovely great big sink there. Really, really nice. So one of the other things I wanted to show you was um, this beautiful full length fridge freezer. Um, this is Thetford. It's an, the N4000 model um, and you've got a lovely big uh, freezer compartment at the top there. I'm not going to start taking everything out because, you know, it is brand new, this caravan, and I don't want to mess anything up. Uh, one, two, three shelves and then you've got a nice little salad drawer here in the bottom. You've also got these drawers or uh, shelves in the door. Um, you've got a nice area down the bottom there for 
I, I can't really see, you can't really see it, but just below the actual fridge, you've got um, a storage unit. Um, here as well, you've got a the table there, um, which nice storage area. Um, you know, I mean, coachmen do this so well that, you know, to hide stuff um, so that it's not sort of in your face uh, and you, you know, got to look for somewhere to put stuff. Um, these lovely catches again on the actual drawers in the bedroom and a nice cupboard area underneath again the wardrobe similar to this one is um it's really nice i mean you've got the aldi wet central heating in there no shelving i have noticed that um but you've got plenty of other stuff uh room down the bottom there to put stuff lovely big cupboards above the actual bed to keep plenty of stuff in and i don't know if you noticed this but these lovely um lights um they have got usbs in them and uh again similar to the sink they've got this effect where you can actually just bend them into any position you like um you know which is really good but some nice little pockets here to keep either your mobile phone while it's charging from a usb point on your uh, light um or put um you know a book and phone in there you know really really nice now this bed, um, I have looked at this uh, coachman already um, and I did do a film on it. Um, unfortunately, the video uh, that I did didn't really do this caravan any justice because I hadn't got my microphone for, uh, with me. So it was a bit of a sort of like, you know, they, uh, they give me the keys to it and they said, Paul, please go and tell us what you think. Um, and like I say, it just didn't, the audio wasn't very good. But anyway, we're back here again and we're doing it again. So, so um, yeah, it's, um, it is lovely though. It is really nice. You've got plenty of space around there in the day configuration as well. You have a lovely little area there for uh, doing makeup. The only thing is they, you know, in the Swift, they have this area here, which has got a nice little sort of um, cupboard area uh, with the mirror on the front of it. Now, Coachman haven't put that in, so I would have thought they would have been just as well as to do it. But obviously not in this one. Got a nice window there to the outside. Um, obviously, this doesn't do nothing apart from just a bit of decoration. And the other wardrobe in this caravan. So let's have a look in the in the bathroom. Okay, so as you walk in from the uh, bedroom, you got the lovely Thetford toilet, a window behind it. Again, decorative curtain with some cupboards above, um, which um, will hold you know a reasonable amount of stuff. Um, you have a nice heated towel rail, and here um, here you have the sink and some cupboard space below. You have a really 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 big shower. It is a big shower, I promise you. Um, and over to uh, in front of the sink, you have these lovely big mirrors. Coachmen do do mirrors really well, actually. Um, the only thing I don't like, again, is that sink. But like Sarah said to me when we did this video previously, it's preference, isn't it, really, whether you like them or not. And I don't particularly like them because as far as I'm concerned, if you're just splashing water on your face, your forearms are going to hit on the edges here. Uh, while you're trying to uh, splash water on your face and to me it's um, not really nice but anyway just getting a look down the caravan excuse my tripod at the bottom there but uh, getting a look down this caravan it's absolutely brilliant it really does make this whole caravan look so nice in this color it's unbelievable so what we do now is we'll go outside we'll get some video of the outside of this caravan and then we'll wrap it all up Okay, so you've had a good look at the inside. We've had a good look at the outside. 
Now this caravan is absolutely beautiful. Um, like I said, it's called the Coachman Kingsham Laser 35th Emerald Edition. There is no real price for it at the moment. They are working on 2023 prices, um, but um, it really is a lovely caravan, really is. Um, but it's going to be sort of about 44, 45,000, I think. Um, the one thing I was um, interested to actually know about is if you see the actual colours on the Coachman um, emblem there, they're in green, emerald green, which is in keeping with the rest of the caravan. Now, what they did is they approached Coachman and actually asked them if they were able to change the colour from the original one, which is over on this one. And let me show you that which is in red, okay? So they, the, the original Coachman's red. So what they did is they asked them if they could do it in emerald green and they allowed them to do it. So Sussex Caravan and Motome Centre actually got their way and they were allowed to do it in emerald green, which for this caravan is absolutely beautiful. But like I say, there's no real price on it yet. It is gonna be between 40 and 45,000. Um, but um, you will have to speak to Sussex Caravan and Motome Centre and they will give you a complete breakdown of exactly how much this caravan is going to cost. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And both myself and Sarah will see you very, very soon in the next one.